So this power steering fluid reservoir was leaking the whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this for the customer because it was making a mess of everything. It was running down the back side of the um, canister. I got the new seal right here. Here's the old one. It is literally smashed to quite a bit, not quite half the size of the new one. So we're going to go ahead and throw this one in for him. So it's replaced. I'm going to fill it back up with some power steering fluid. Um, hopefully that fixes it. A lot of times these things rust out and it looked like it was seeping around the top back side here. So I'm going to hope it's just the seal because that's a lot cheaper than replacing the reservoir for the guy. Um, either way, this thing here is hard as a rock and smashed down to the max. And it honestly looked like he tried tightening this a couple times because this clamp was a halfway screwed up. So we're going to hope that fixes it for him. Yeah. You gotta say action. Action. Oh yeah. This is a customer's 2009 Kenworth 48 inch flat top stand up studio. I know nothing about Kenworth folks. We installed a J. Farrell air ride kit in this thing. So we're gonna get up close and personal and show you what it is. All right. Right now the air is dumped. So here's the J. Farrell air ride kit. It's sitting on a 389 spring. I've said enough about these things already. You guys, you guys get the um, point. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. I'll go ahead and um, hit the switch and air it up. Faces up here. Isn't that neat? It's really neat. Okay, that's all we got for today. Let's go. That means the center bay is finally open again. So we're going to pull the 94 peep back in, finish up that thing as far as we can at least. And we got the cab over peep in the paint booth. Um, later today, I'm going to work on it a little bit. I haven't been able to work on this much and Thanksgiving kind of, um, screwed up our whole schedule of posting daily for you guys. And I don't know why I was posting daily anyways. It's way too much work. Um, let me do a couple shots of what we got done here. Maybe do a little more talking and get back to work. Here's the fifth wheel. It's sandblasted. It is just waiting on, um, me to paint it. Same way with the truck. So if you could imagine this was like 30 years ago and that state had clear coat on it and it looked nice and shiny, I think it'd be really close to this color here. I mean, really close. I'm really happy with it. The customer's happy with it. That's what we're gonna paint. The funny part is, is I sprayed it on, I use all these old Peterbilt parts as um, spray out patterns and spray test things, whatever, to see if I like the colors. And I already had this red on there, which is also, if the camera will pick it up it's got a lot of metallic in it too it's not picking it up but i said wow that's awfully close to that color there if it was also you know nice and clean so i might throw a black pinstripe in here right here and show this to the customer and say hey we could do the other section of the truck that color and it's also really close and they look great together i really like them especially if there was a black stripe between it anyhow that's where we're at this light bar is sanded out it's going to get mounted in the back we build these um they're on our website at wrestlerbelt.com you can go pick one up there it'll come um like this already primed you just have to sand it and paint it and yes there is a back plate for it i know you can see through it right now but there is backing plates for it. so i need to go get this customer's truck out of the middle of the driveway and get back to work <music>
truck. Beautiful interior. If I knew um, him, I'd show the interior, but you know, I think the interior of a truck, it's one thing to video the outside of guys' trucks while I'm working. I feel like it's another thing to show off their interior, so I'm keeping this zoomed in on my face, I hope. Uh, yeah, no, this, this is a great truck to work on. I really like his interior for being a Kenworth. I mean, I know anybody that's watched my channel for a while knows that I'm just not the biggest Kenworth guy. And truth is, kind of due to dad not being a Kenworth person and me not really caring either, I don't work on them that often. So I don't know everything there is to know about like all the trim levels and sleepers and stuff. Like they got the stand-ups, the studios. I mean, it's, it's no different than Peterbilt's, but um, I don't know. It's, it's just, I really like this truck. I, I would like to work on some more Kenworths, but every time I work on them, I complain about working on them. So it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video about this one. Um, I'll see what else we have in store today or tomorrow. No, I wasn't watching view you. I was replay. videoing. View the replay. I'll, I'll view the replay and see where you drop that screw. Yeah. Just put the other screws in for now. Hey, Zach. You follow like eight people, but you don't follow my shop account. Uh, I was, eight people is not a lot. I don't follow hardly anyone. Let me see your can't phone. No. <laughs> Are you subscribed to me? I am on TikTok. I'm Mr. Beast. If, you, if you're video. not subscribed to me, I'm not going to give you $5,000. There's my YouTube. I better not show know. people that. Is that you playing Minecraft? <laughs> Holy cow, you have 5.3 K subscribers on there? I didn't even know that. Oh. oh my gosh, I don't have to fire him. A little bit of a side quest here, a little side mission. Um, my parents are building a couple houses right now, and I bet you guys didn't know I'm also a part-time carpenter. I put this board in right here for um, like a shop style sink because the construction crew forgot to put a brace board in here. So I did that. Um, this front window here, it is like a 36 by 32 or something for where the sink goes. Well, they decided they want a 42 inch wide window. So I took out the bracing and I built a new header, I guess that's what you call that. And I made it so that way the guys can drywall it and I'll take out this window later um, and put a bigger window in. So, I mean, technically you could say I built this house, I guess. I mean, Jeez, I gotta get back to the shop.